our lesson this week, we will explore how Philip used the scriptures to explain salvation to the Ethiopian eunuch. Philip's sharing of the good news about Jesus and the baptism of the Ethiopian man demonstrate the universal availability of the gospel message. In the book of Acts, the story of Philip's evangelistic effort serves as a transition between the ministries of Peter and Paul. The account of Paul describes how God adds to the church through his bold and relentless preaching. Philip is in the middle of the record of these two great statesmen. Philip's efforts add to the church soul by soul. And that brings us to our key verse for today, which reads, As they rode along, they came to some water, and the, eth- and the eunuch said, Look, there's some water. Why can't I be baptized? Acts chapter 8, verse 36. We should note that while Peter and Paul are noted for their great preaching ability, Philip was outstanding in the area of obedience. Whenever the Spirit directed him, Philip heeded. Because he was so sensitive to the direction of the Holy Spirit, it is clear that prayer and the study of God's Word must have been integral parts of Philip's life. On the road, Philip encountered a fellow traveler. Scripture tells us four important things about this man. First, we are told that he was a man from Ethiopia. Because the Ethiopian eunuch was reading from the book of Isaiah, we can safely assume that this man took the religion of Judaism seriously. The custom of the time was to read scripture aloud. Upon hearing the Ethiopian man reading, Philip asked if he understood what he was reading. In Acts 8, chapter 8, verse 31, he said, in effect, How can I, unless someone shows me the way? The eunuch was confused by what he was reading and needed someone to explain the scripture to him. The man's sincerity and willingness to learn were demonstrated by his invitation to Philip to come into the chariot and sit with him. Like many people today, the Ethiopian eunuch earnestly sought the truth, but he lacked saving faith in Jesus Christ and needed someone to show him the way. We must recognize that God could have allowed an angel to explain the scripture to him, but instead commissioned Philip. Similarly, Jesus has commissioned, ordered, and instructed each and every Christian to share the gospel with others. During his preaching, Philip had probably talked about baptism. As soon as they came to a body of water, the eunuch asked if there were any hindrance to his being baptized right on the spot. Notice that Philip did not drill the Ethiopian on his knowledge and understanding of the scripture. Philip simply asked him if he believed that Jesus was the Son of God. In other words, did he have faith? Obviously, at least to Philip, There was no impediments to the man's baptism. Philip and the man entered the water and the Ethiopian was baptized. At this moment, another prophecy of Isaiah was being fulfilled. This prophecy spoke of strangers, eunuchs, and other outcasts who would be given an everlasting name and called God's people. The Lord God, which gathered the outcast of Israel, saith, Yet will I gather others to him besides those that are gathered unto him. Isaiah chapter 56, verse 8. So here's our lesson. When Philip then was finalizing his successful missionary work in Samaria, the Spirit ordered him to go to to Gaza. Instead of dragging his feet, Philip heeded the direction of the Holy Spirit and performed a life-saving evangelistic appeal to the Ethiopian official. Today's Christians would do well to follow Philip's example and get up and go. If we are to be witnesses for the kingdom, we will have to maintain sensitivity to the Spirit and allow God to order our steps in every area of our lives. Perhaps we can better follow in Philip's, and more importantly, the Spirit's direction, if we commit to a daily personal devotion, prayer, and Bible study. Let's try to select a quiet time and place to do an uninterrupted reading of and meditation on the Word of God. Thank you so much for listening and subscribing to iLights. Heavenly Father, fill our hearts with what we truly desire, for who we truly seek is you.